Hi scholars, this is instructor Meredith Woolbeck and I'm here to offer you some helpful guidance on the time log assessment that you're going to be completing this week. So the three things I'm going to be going over are the directions, tips for how to approach the assessment well, and then also some supporting guidance on how to include academic evidence in your journals. So if you need note taking supplies or you want to pull up any documents that you're working on, go ahead and do that now. When you're ready, press play. Perfect. Now that you're ready, we're going to start with the first item on our list, which is going over the directions. So if you go into week three, you'll notice that you have several documents that you can download. Uh, there are three, I believe, possibly four. Uh, you'll have the directions. You'll have a time log template. You'll have a time log example. So all three of those documents are useful and necessary for this assessment. And right now I have the assessment directions pulled up. Some things that we want to highlight that this assessment is worth 10% of your overall grade in class. So again, a worthwhile assessment that is a great way to build points for your overall grade, uh, but a little bit less than our week two assessment, which was 15%. Okay, we also want to know that this assessment is important because it allows you to demonstrate your abilities in meeting another course outcome, which is to apply time management and goal setting strategies through planning tools to ultimately help you be successful. And so ultimately what this assessment is asking you to demonstrate is your ability to assess your time management routine and then provide solutions or ideas on how to manage your time well using the planning tools presented. All right, so the specific directions would just simply be that you're to select two days this week and log your time. If you go into lecture three, I believe it is lesson five. Yes, lesson five, uh, we'll go over time logs in more detail, but your the directions ask you to make two time logs and then to write two journals reflecting on those time logs. You'll also notice at the bottom of the directions, as always, you will have a copy of the grading rubric where you can see exactly what it is I will be assessing you on um, so that there's no questions on whether or not something will earn you points or cause you to lose points. Uh, but if you ever have questions about the rubric, don't hesitate to email me. But that's a little overview of the directions for the assessment. Again, you have this file in the week's three link of class. Now let's move into our next topic, which is going to be talking about tips. Everybody likes tips, right? So I have three tips for you on how to do well in this assessment, some guidance, if you will. Tip number one is try to be honest when logging your day. If you wanna try a new routine based on what you've learned that week, you know, that's perfect. You can absolutely do that. But if you feel like you're still figuring things out, I want you to know I'm not looking for a perfect day on the time log. I'm just looking for an honest log of your day. Certainly we wanna try and be productive, but that's, that's not the goal of this assessment. So be honest when logging your day. Tip number two, Keep in mind that time chunking is the key way to go when we're planning our time, but also when we're logging it, when we're trying to assess ourselves and see if we're managing our time well or not. So when you are doing your time log, you wanna record any details that are relevant to each hour of the day, but pay close attention and making sure you do your best to record any time wasters you notice um, throughout the day, distractions or interruptions. You can record things like how they made you feel, what they were, when they occurred, and, and any other relevant information. Those are key. Also key to record are all successful moments. So when you feel successful, when you objectively complete a task, any differences that made you feel successful in that time frame, make sure to record those too. So tip number three of three, try to pick at least one day where you log your time and have school involved. So for example, in the past, sometimes students choose two days to do their time log, but they're, they're two days off. So they just go to the beach or hang out with friends, which is good. We want those kind of days. You know, when we look at holistic time management, we want things that are for us personally, professionally, and academically. But for this assessment, we're really looking at planning tools that will help you balance everything. You know, school, work, personal life. So try not to pick both days off to do your time logs, if you can. All right, so that was the third tip. So last we're going to go into some, ev some guidance on how to add academic evidence into your journals. So after you complete your time logs for two days, you're going to be asked to journal. Um, so what this means is when we think about our days, 
we're going to ask ourselves questions sort of like this. Why did something happen? How did something happen? What will solve my problem if there was one? Or why do I know that whatever I did worked and, and how do I know that, that that worked? So when we're explaining the why, the what, and the how, that's when we want to include academic evidence. So that might look like this. On Thursday, I noticed I began with a plan, but procrastination was tempting. According to Lecture 3, Lesson 2 and 6, we know that interpersonal communication can impact if we give in to the urge to procrastinate. So this statement here is, is the student realizing that they struggled with procrastination and they're figuring out, okay, why did I procrastinate and how can I improve it? They're using uh, intrapersonal communication to understand why they procrastinated and they included this citation here to build academic evidence into their journal. So that's what it would look like. Now, if you want to add academic evidence into your journal, here are some hot topics from the lecture this week that might be of use to you. Notice that I highlighted the topic and then included the in-text citation so that you can use this in your writing or so that you can revisit some of these hot topics and refresh yourself as you're journaling. Um, if you have any questions about academic evidence, um, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, it's something that's good to practice but again, um, it's if you go back to the rubric, you know that um, you can see exactly what it is you're going to be graded on for the assessment. So don't stress too much about citation format, but do think a lot about how you can pull in concepts from the lecture to help explain what happened in your day. How can you improve? Where will you go from here? Why did something happen? All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. I appreciate you sticking with me and listening to all these helpful tips. I hope that they offer you some guidance. If you need anything, reach out. Otherwise, keep moving forward.